morning and welcome to our time of worship together. Let us begin by preparing our symbols. So as I place the Bible, we think of God the Father and we say, Father, we are here. We are here for you. As we place the cross, we think of Jesus, God's Son, and we say, Jesus, we are here. We are here for you. And as I light the candle, we think of God, the Holy Spirit, and we say, Holy Spirit, we are here. We are here for you. So welcome to our time together. Now, we've had all the excitement of Christmas and last week, Reverend Deborah shared with you the story of the wise men, the stargazers, who came to worship Jesus and they brought with them gifts. Now, you may remember that they'd followed a star and on their journey, they travelled to King Herod's palace to see if they could find baby Jesus there because they knew him as a king, a king of the Jews. So King Herod, if you remember, wasn't very impressed. He sent the three wise men over to Bethlehem to see if they could find the baby Jesus. But he gave them an instruction he said, when you found him, come on back to me, come and tell me so that I too can go and worship him. Now, the three wise men were not going to do that. They were visited by an angel. They were told in a dream that they shouldn't go back to King Herod. King Herod wanted to harm the baby Jesus. And so they made their route back to their homelands by another way and they didn't visit him. So I've got here one of my kings. This is King Herod. And King Herod was not happy. He was very angry, in fact, because he was the king and he didn't want to think that there might be another king. So he started plotting and planning. Now, over in Bethlehem, Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus had moved to somewhere safer. But an angel came one evening and an angel appeared to Joseph. And the angel told Joseph that their King Herod was not going to be uh, helpful that he was in fact going to make the land very very dangerous for them and that God was telling Joseph to take Mary and Jesus far far away so that night Joseph and Mary packed up with the baby Jesus and they went on a long journey once again to Egypt this time. It can't have been very pleasant, it can't have been very comfortable and in the book of Matthew it says that they travelled by night for safety but they were wise to do that because King Herod issued some terrible laws. He said that all baby boys under the age of two had got to die and that wasn't very nice at all. By that time Mary and Joseph had escaped. They had escaped to Egypt. But Egypt wasn't their home country. They didn't understand the language. It would have been very, very difficult for them. In fact, they had to stay in Egypt for some considerable time. The Bible doesn't tell us how long. They had to wait until it was safe in Israel to go home and it would only be safe when King Herod had died. 
At some point, King Herod did die. And the angel came back to Mary and Joseph and said it was now safe to return to Israel. Joseph was still very worried because he wanted to protect Mary and Joseph and Jesus, who incidentally wasn't a baby anymore. He would have been a toddler, if not a bit older. So Joseph took Mary and Jesus to a place called Nazareth. And there they lived and they grew up. And I expect Jesus had a fairly normal life. And they watched as proud parents, they watched as Jesus grew up to follow in his father's footsteps, learning the tools of the trade of a carpenter. But it can't have been easy. Moving to a foreign land and thinking about the people that we may know who have had to move suddenly for a variety of reasons and even leave their own country. So I'm going to ask you to reflect for a few moments. Mary and Joseph had to escape from King Herod and move to this new land of Egypt. And then I'd like you to think about the people in our world who have had to leave their homes and settle somewhere new. Imagine how difficult that might be. So now I'm going to invite you to join me in prayer. You may like to watch the candle flicker or you may like to close your eyes and put your hands together, however you are comfortable. Let us pray. Dear Lord, you were so young, your family had to keep moving to keep you safe. Today we pray for all refugees, people who have had to leave their homes and their countries because it's not safe. We pray that they receive strength and help and find your love in their new communities. Amen. And now I invite you to join me in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you in the not too distant future, hopefully for a face to face worship. In the meantime, take care, work hard, keep safe and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.